Callum, yeah. for a professional fight. That's it. Not quite in your backyard, but up the road in Newcastle, it must be good for you. Near enough, yeah. Well, it was half an hour drive for me, couldn't get any better than this, really. And uh, on a massive bill as well, uh, Smith and Williams, look forward to that one. Yeah, it's, uh, should sell some tickets for this one, local, local lad, so, yeah. What's it like for a young professional fighting on um, the Smith Williams bill, which is one of the biggest fights in Britain? Oh, this it's year. massive, isn't it? Like winner of that fight's caught. You think, well, yeah, like I'm on, I'm on the undercard to that. Like it's class, yeah. And can't thank Frank enough to getting us on this. It's a big bill, yeah. When you hear yeah, like, the winner of fight caught, does it make you want to hurry up yourself to get there? Yeah, I was like, bloody hell, like that's what I want. That's a dream come true, something like that, isn't it? Do you know, well, every every professional boxer's dream is to uh, fight for a world title, isn't it? Oh, and that's what we want. Of the all future. the current professionals, who would be yeah. your dream opponent in a world title fight? Who will want to fight? Or yeah, if you could fight anyone, in the, you wouldn't have had a dream, yeah. and it'd be, you, you, who would you want? Uh, now or in the... In the now. You would. Oh, well, Canelo or Glofkin, yeah. isn't it? Something like that. Big, big fight. Big money fight, in it? And that's what you want. That's what you, uh, that's what you box for. Your brother's doing pretty well, won his first yeah. professional title. Yeah, and I'm proud of him, yeah, he's done, yeah. done really well, he worked hard, really hard. And all the running and hard work we've put in is starting to pay off and we're looking, he's looking for bigger things now and that's what we want in the future. Both do well. Do you still spar together? Every every week, I always spar together, push each other, not like tippy tatting. it's a good hard spar because I want the best for him, you know. And uh, yeah, we're doing really well. Did you spar at home as kids? Yeah, my dad hated this. Uh, he bought his first boxing gloves. Mother come home and bloody blood all over. So, yeah, he didn't really like it, to be honest. Whose blood was it all over the floor? Or? A bit of both, I think. I hope he says that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, yeah, we've always been together, done, trained out together. So, that's what we won and become world champions one day. How much are you enjoying the professional ride so far? Love it, yeah. I love being professional. It's uh, my dream coming true, and I just keep learning. And uh, my brother's there. I'm following his footsteps, so he can guide me in the right direction. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. Love being professional. And training camp in Spain. How did that go? Yeah, it was really hard. Really uh, good start. Get out there, start a camp, get some good runs in up in the mountains and stuff. And hard training three times a day. Didn't didn't really see the sun really. Uh, Go to sleep and train again and sleep. So yeah, it was good. Look forward to a good hard eight week here. And uh, it went for November. Be free, you know. That might be your last fight for this year. So what might you be looking yeah. forward to in 2018? Where would you? Yeah, like getting a few more fights under my belt. Getting maybe step up to six rounds, and uh, then go from there. See where we're at there. Even eight rounds after that. A couple of sixes. Couple of, and move on well like next couple of fights maybe you know one or two at four then sixes and move on from there yeah not gonna go I'm just gonna build and build and build yeah improving